Welcome to the Makeup Chair. Today we're doing a Kim Kardashian inspired look. This is a look that you guys voted for on Facebook, so thank you so much for voting. And there is another kind of thing that's going on. I've done two looks from the kind of list that I showed you. If you if you follow me on Facebook, then you know what I'm talking about. But I'll link that in the box below. You can check it out if you want to vote for another look from that kind of uh, combination of things. I really hope you enjoy this look and just keep watching. So I've already applied some concealer and a little bit of powder over the lids just to kind of prep. Then we're going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take a nice highlighter shade and this has worked all over the eyelid. This is about a shade lighter than my skin. Now I'm only placing this on the lid for now. Make sure to get right to the inner corner. I'm also going to place just a little bit underneath the brows. Just as a little bit of highlight. Then we're going to take a dark shadow on an angle brush. We're going to put the angle right on the edge of our eye like this and just do a little bit of a press there and then you can work it up into the crease. Then you're going to take a mid-tone which is a slightly lighter shade of um, a brown so it's like a flesh tone and we're going to work this over the top of that to blend it in. So you're keeping your angle like this and you're just working across. Take a fluffy brush and just blend that edge outwards just to make sure there's no harsh lines and this is a clean brush, there's nothing on this. Before we do anything else I'm going to fill in my brows because as you can see on this side they're a lot more angular. So I'm going to take a hazel brown pencil and I'm going to run this through my brows just to thicken them up a little bit. So I'm just doing light little strokes. Take a matte brown on an angled brush and start working it across the brows. So I'm starting on the inner part working my way out in the same type of short little strokes. This is going to set the pencil and also blend the pencil in. Next we're going to add an eyeliner to the inner portion of the eye. If you have slightly smaller eyes you can put it just on the outer corner of the eye so just like along here and then up by the lashes instead of going into the kind of the wet tissue inside and then you can close your eyes, let it run across, this doesn't hurt, trust me. Take a small brush, you can use an angle brush, I'm going to use this little kind of round topped brush and I'm using a black shadow just to go underneath. You can put liquid liner down here but I think this looks a little bit better and not as harsh and what I'm doing is swooping it from down here on the little bit lower and then swooping it up towards the inner part because otherwise it would look a bit like a raccoon eye. Now it's time to move on to that liner. So I'm going to take my black liner and this is going to be used on this very thin brush and this is Blank Canvas Cosmetics and it is 012. I'm going to work a little bit on the back of my hand and then we're going to start lining. So what you want to do is place your hand on the side of your face like this just for a little bit of support and so your hand's not like all over the place. And then lie the brush flat against your lashes and then press down on the skin and that way you won't get kind of a jagged line. And we're working from the inner portion of the eye right the way across because it's quite heavenly lined and then we do a little bit of kick. Now it's time to do a little kick so instead of resting it like this and lying it flat you're going to turn your brush along this way and then you're going to use the bottom of your eye as kind of your template so you're just working from the outer part here just put a little dot up here and then just join it in and then just join it above as well. It goes out to quite a thin line so just do a little bit of a kick just very gently so it's kind of tapered outwards. It's quite thick on the actual lid and then it goes quite tapered. So I've just added these false lashes and they're a little bit crazy, but I thought they were kind of fun. These are actually by Jamal Buster again. I used this in a recent tutorial, um, Britney Spears one, and he has worked with Kim Kardashian and she loves these eyelashes. So I've gone for the Bold and Beautiful and they're the ones that she tends to wear a lot. They're probably not identical to the ones that she has on in the picture, but because she used them I thought it would be kind of fun to add it in. Okay, so on the rest of the face all I'm going to do is do is a little bit of contour a little bit highlight. So I'm going to take my sleek palette again. I know you guys are probably getting sick of seeing this because I use it all the time. I'm going to be using this brush which is a stippling brush and what I'm going to do is to highlight I'm going to squash it down like that. Take a little bit 
of the highlighter shade that's in here. It's quite shimmery. And just turn to the side and just hit right on top of the cheekbone. Just up there. And that should just naturally hit the light. Then I'm going to open the brush and just blend it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. And I'm going to use the same brush because I'm just going to end up washing it in a minute anyway. Just from the ear, I'm going to do a little bit of a rub down. And that's just going to thin off the face, give them nice uh, cheekbones like Kim Kardashian. So it looks like she has a very small amount of like a peachy pink blush on. So I'm going to take Peachy Keen. And I'm going to use this brush and a smile. Very gently go over that area. So you have the highlight here, you have the bronzer there. Then you have a little bit of this Peachy Keen in the middle. And it sort of blends the two together because Peachy Keen actually has a little bit of shimmer in it. Okay, on the lips, I have something a little bit different. I've taken this, which is Coal and Contour, and it's an eyeliner, but it is in a color that I think is more suited to the lips, and it's called Violet Iris. So then I've taken this, which I have no idea what it's called, okay? It's discontinued. But I will put some names in the box below of the different colors that you can use, but I just didn't have any, so I just used this. And this is by um, Primark, and I don't think they even make it anymore. But it's just like a really hot, hot pink. I really hope you enjoyed this look. All the information, everything that I use is going to be in the box below. And thank you so much for watching and voting for this look. Bye.